Okay, here we go, a lap of Monza, the fastest track we go all season. Make sure you've got a good balance of this lowest downforce configuration track throughout the entire F1 calendar. On the run out of the last corner, make sure you've got a good exit, open a DRS and use a boost of curse as well. Look out for the 200 meter board into turn 1 you want to break just after that because it's ever so easy to look up the front or the rear end. Don't touch the curves too much, you don't want to upset the balance and lose the traction on the exit as well, it's easy to wheel spin there. Before coming into the curve of Randy, full throttle, 6 and then up into 7th gear. Now eyes to the bridge in front, use it as a reference. Get the car over to the right and brake just after the 100 meter balls. Don't take too much curve but you want to attack them relatively aggressively because you want to keep the momentum on the run out of that corner towards the two Lesmos. Nice cambering corner that helps the balance of the car. Don't take too much exit curve as the second Lesmo corner comes up at you pretty fast. Now onto this nice winding straight. Round this left hand corner it's bumpier, you feel the force getting through your spine as the track compresses. Now up the hill towards the Ascari chicane. Braking, down three gears, you want to use all of the left hand side curve available to open up the right. Hug the side of the corner, flick the car to the left and look to the right, use that extra piece of tarmac to help keep the momentum down towards the parabolica. Now ease the car over to the left hand side. You can use this green piece of concrete as a reference where to brake. The car often understeers in mid corner, so having a good error balance is important. Getting that final boost of curse that sends you on the way to the start finish line to finish the lap here in Monza.